five years after the demise of Lagos born business mogul, sports enthusiast, renowned philanthropist, and leading entrepreneur, the late Sir Molade Okoya Thomas, his legacies still live on. Sir Molade Okoya Thomas, who passed on to eternal glory in February 2015 at the age of 79, left indelible footprints in the sands of time. In the business world, sports, education, and philanthropy. Until his demise, he was the chairman of several business organizations like CFAO Nigeria Limited, CICA Nigeria Limited, Transcap Nigeria Limited, among others. In the area of sports development, the late Chief Molade Okoya Thamos was the sole sponsor of the annual Ashojoba Table Tennis Championship for close to 50 years. And in recognition of his contribution to the development of sports, the Lagos State Government named the Indoor Sports Hall of the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Suruleri after him when he celebrated his 75th birthday about nine years ago. The late Sir Molade Okoya Thomas held the traditional titles of Ashujoba of Lagos, Baba Shua of Ijeburemo, and the Dauphin of Ife. He was a recipient of the Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur, the highest national honor given by the French government to a foreigner. To celebrate the very impactful life of the late Sir Molade Okoya Thomas, on Saturday, the 1st of February 2020, Family members, friends, and well wishers gathered at the Oriental Hotel, Victoria Island, Lagos, for the fifth remembrance anniversary service to honor the late Sir Molade Okoya Thomas five years after his demise. The event was graced by distinguished personalities like the Lagos State Head of Service, Mr. Hakim Muriokola, the Chairman, Doi Investments Limited, Prince Samuel Adedoi. Lagos State APC Chairman Alahaji Tunde Balogun, Senator Lanry Tejosho, Ogun State First Lady Mrs. Bamidela Biodun, Dema Bimbala Fashola, Honorable Abike Dabire Rewa, Senator Florence Itagiwa, Otsumba Adekunle and Irelujo Lakbeojora, Senator Daisy Danjuma, Mr. Shogun Wolowo. Former President of the Lagos Lawn Tennis Club, Mr. Rutimi Edu, the Legushi of Ikateland, His Royal Majesty, Obasai de Legushi, the Chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications, Prince Basil Atilo, among the distinguished guests. The event commenced with the opening prayer led by Reverend Father Marcellinus Teco, after which BJ Sachs led guests in a session of quality praise and worship to God. Next was the welcome address delivered by the daughter of the late Sir Molade Okoya Thomas, Honorable Jumoke Okoya Thomas. In her remarks, Honorable Jumoke Okoya Thomas spoke on how great her father was and appreciated everyone who stood by them throughout the years. For a good cause, because of remembering a great man indeed that had done so well to so many people in this country and of course outside of this country. I say that because people like Serena 
Williams can justify to that. But I must say something. Having a father like uh, Chief Okoya Thomas, we knew how he did his things, and um, we were meant to do something small. Something small has developed into this, and really for a good cause. Daddy was indeed a great man, and we can't give him anything less than this. I therefore thank you all so much for coming. I have seen so many faces that were with him in those days, and they're still with him. I know the party enjoyers, they will soon be here. But uh, for us, praying and praising God that we have not been consumed in five good years, and we're together as a family. I know of so many families, by now they will be fighting. Such is not our own cause. We thank God, we give glory to him. Blessed be unto his holy name. Thank you for coming, everybody. Senior Pastor Trinity House, Pastor Ito Aigudalo, also urged children of the late Sir Mola de Okoya Thomas to always remember their father and try to protect his legacies. Psalm 112 says, Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. We are here this morning because whether you like it or not, and especially towards the end of his life, our father began to fear the Lord. And I'm happy that I was an integral part of that experience, that when it came to time to give his life to Jesus Christ, I was one of the people that God used to do that. So we give God the glory. We give him the thanks. We give him everything. But the truth of the matter is that life is short. Life is short. Those of us who have life, it is indeed a privilege. The Bible also says that life is like a flower that disappears in the midst of the night. But one thing I like about this family is that they have chosen to remember their Lord. Because verse 6 of that scripture says, it will not be moved forever. The righteous will be in everlasting remembrance. Please always remember your father with fondness, with happiness, and with joy. And always give thanks to God that he chose to bring you forth through such a great man, a generous man, a mighty man. The Bible also says in verse 3 that wealth and riches shall be in his house. In your house you will never be poor. Only Sister Jumaka is saying amen. <laughs> because she's the one that likes money the most. <laughs> Let's start with the shout aloud, hallelujah. It says, righteousness will endure forever. So I want to thank you all for staying together. I want to thank you all for not quarreling. Other events that followed next were the Bible reading and a special music rendition by renowned soloist Bola Udom. In the brief sermon delivered by Reverend Austin Omomia, titled Making Goodly Impact, he has spoken how most people fear death but tend not to live their lives making goodly impact. 
He urged all to live a life of impact to glorify the name of God at all times. This is a testimony to the fact that our father lived well. It has been five years and we are here freely testifying to the good life he had lived and the impact he made. So I would like to consider very quickly by way of exalting us making a godly impact. Making a godly impact. I met my sister sometime ago and I told her that there was a day I went to Baptist Academy and I met the principal. She was giving an account about what happened. That was how I knew that that was Daddy's Baptist Academy. I said, you see, this is my you know what he has done for our school? He started making, who is this? He started mentioning, I had not come to the church then, and said wonderful things. The distinguishing factor was that I haven't mentioned him and all the catalog of the things he did. He just opposed it with some other persons who also passed through the school who did not care dying to do something for them making a godly impact. Thereafter, family members and friends of the late Sir Molody Okoya Thomas delivered tributes during which they extolled the virtues of the deceased and urged his children to stay united at all times. We thank God for our lives and especially the lives of the family of Chief. Malade Okoya Thomas. When we have been invited to this gathering, I don't even know it's already a year already, but already it's five years since he has passed away. We thank God for their lives. We thank God for their being in Christ. We thank God for he has used them to continue to maintain the good names which their parents has built. And especially for being in Christ, praying day and night for their family and the continuity of the God's grace on their family. Sometimes, the small me, anytime I met him at the club, the lawn tennis club, of course he has passion for tennis, whether table or lawn. At the club, every Friday, he was always making the Brazilian cuisine available for us. He would offer his chair for the small me, and I would refuse, but he was always doing that was passionate about sports generally and he contributed a lot to the development of sports in Nigeria and Africa indeed. <laughs> because of his passion for tennis, he told me one day that he would spend the last 40, as if he knew when he was going to die, he would spend the last 40 years making sure he fulfilled his uh, he dreams in sports. Every year, in the last 40 years before his death, may God give him eternal rest. May you continue to rest in the glory of God. And may God uphold the family has left behind. Thank you very much. This was immediately followed by a special prayer for the family, led by Pastor Kemi Onolaja. The vote of thanks was delivered by Mr. Deji Okoya Thomas, after which Reverend Samson Adidukun led in the closing prayer. It was good medleys all the way till the very end as B.J. Sachs serenaded guest with melodious tunes from his saxophone.
from Biscon Communications. We pray that the soul of the late Sir Mola de Okoya Thomas continues to rest in the bosom of our Lord. Amen.